car is a little slow. You're making... You're, you're, you're brushing the whole thing off. It's been purgatory. It's a word you could spit out. Last year was, was a nightmare. What was the production? We did Greece last year. Good or bad? It was a moderate success. It was a nightmare. Oh, that's why I've used my drama group this year. I decided it was such a hell hell last year. That I wasn't going to have such difficulty. No, 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 no. Hands on the chair. Anger absolutely visible. Look up, look up, and look directly to that door as if you wanted to pet something at him. <laughs> I actually right. enjoy directing. I actually get a tremendous lift out of seeing somebody making a role live. Spit hate in that face, come on. <laughs> oh dear, can I do it again? Not hating me now. 15 year old Anna has the lead role of Eliza Doolittle. Tell me the words you're thinking. Really used and, um... I hate you! How dare you use me in such a way? Say it! I think about learning my lines a lot because that's something which worries me quite a bit, because I've got a lot to learn. But um, I'm not really worried about everyone coming to see it. I mean, when it starts, I think I'll feel very proud and, and happy, and I know, she, I know she's really up together on that first section, so that will be just fine. But it will be if she starts to stumble around with some words. So I don't know how I'll begin to <laughs> feel then. I probably wish I wasn't there, I should think. Now, I've got to see some reaction. You've got to see! A quiet word, please. Um... Rumours are circulating in Park that some pupils are taking drugs. We're concerned because I did hear a rumour that there had been the possibility of some gas? Mm, butane, gas. butane gas sniffing actually at school. Now, if that was to be the case, and I don't want to investigate it, you realise I'd have to expel you, do you? Well, I think you need to think about not only what you're doing in school, but what you're doing outside school as well. And I appeal to you to show a bit of common sense in the way you run your life, because it may seem to you you're old enough to make decisions for yourself, but there are certain decisions that no one is old enough to make. Killing yourselves early, we're not going to let you do. I'm sorry, anyone who says there are no drugs anywhere is wrong and we'll fight it like mad and, and uh, they won't bring stuff to school. But out there, sometimes, they've got access to it on buses, on the way home, on Saturdays. Um, they can get it if they want it. What we are saying is, don't make a fool of yourself. Because whatever you think you're doing is secret, it's not. It gets out. And if we hear any more such rumours, I will not hesitate to involve the police. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Stop it. Go back to your lesson. No need to talk about this. So it's true? It's true. You can tell, can't you? Well, we've had a couple that have got violent. Park has a policy of tackling issues such as alcohol and drugs head on. The police are often invited in, for example today, as part of a video being made by pupils. But don't you sometimes get uh, false reports like they mistake it for cannabis plant? Yes, yes, that would happen. Tomatoes look a little bit like yeah. cannabis. We would check it out first. Because don't forget, if the neighbours can see it... Um, At a governor's meeting, the head reports the suspension of 15-year-old David found with drugs at school. The police were called in. A pupil had a small amount of cannabis which he was showing round to people in his excitement. He was intercepted. It was taken. The police were called. The boy was arrested. But nevertheless, when, when people ask me about drugs at Park High, and I tell them there's absolutely no question of there being a... A problem. I, I, presumably, I'm, I'm speaking the truth. No, no, there is a problem in every single school in this country with drugs. Well, I mean, oh, I mean, I mean, yes, but I mean, I can tell you, I can tell you, ten places in Harrow where you could buy cannabis um, with considerable ease. When the policeman came to take me down the station, he started asking me all these questions, where I got it from, and all that sort of stuff, and I just like just said, I'm not saying. And then when we got down to the police station, they just searched my bag and looked through my books and just see if there was anything else. Uh, put me in a cell and left me there until my mum come. They had found me at work to say that David had been arrested and he was at the police station. And I was devastated. I've never even seen 
drugs only on the television or in the newspaper. I've never actually seen it for real. And here I was being confronted with drugs with my own son. Do you think drugs are dangerous? Uh, depends. I mean, what I was arrested with cannabis, and that's as far as the law's concerned. It's it's illegal, but it's not addictive. If you're taking that, then you just got to be careful on what else you go 